Well, if you happen to be outside this evening, you'll want to look up as there will be quite the show in the sky. Yeah, the moon and a once in a lifetime cosmic visitor teaming up to create a rare stargazing experience. New Jersey correspondent Trish Hartman is live at Rowan University in Glassboro with more on what will make tonight's sky unlike any we've seen before. Can't wait to hear about this, Trish. Yeah, hi there, Sarah and Brian. Now, we are on the roof of Science Hall here at Rowan University, and this is the observatory deck where later this evening they'll welcome folks up. This is open to the public to try and see this rare comet. They have the telescope set up, but you should be able to see it with your own two eyes. Now, some of you may have got a glimpse of this comet already over the past few nights, but if you haven't yet, scientists say this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. If you've looked to the skies at dusk over the last few days, you may have seen a rare surprise. The last time, and this is an estimate, uh, it probably had done something like this was tens of thousands of years ago. Astronomer Eddie Guerra is preparing for a comet viewing event on the top of Science Hall at Rowan University. He says conditions should be just right to catch a glimpse of the comet discovered by scientists last year that's about 44 million miles from Earth right now. When it comes near the sun, it does two things. One, it gets brighter, but the second thing it does, it starts to melt. And the ice, which is part of the comet, starts to create a, a glow called a, uh, you know, around the nucleus called a coma and a tail, and then you get to see this beautiful display. Guerra says it should be visible to the naked eye, but they'll also have binoculars and telescopes to get an even closer view. If you want to catch it at home, he says notice where the sunset is. So from your perspective, if you're looking right at the sunset, it'll be about, oh, I'd say about 10 degrees uh, uh, to the left, for lack of a better way of putting it, above the horizon. Best time to view is likely between 7 and 7.30. And as you're looking for the comet in the west, don't forget to admire the full supermoon, which will be rising in the east. It's a night full of inspiring celestial events. I was giddy. I mean, I went up Monday and saw it, and, you know, it, it brings me back to my childhood excitement about science, why I became a scientist. Now here at Rowan, folks will start coming up to the roof, likely around 630. If you miss the comet tonight, don't worry. As long as the skies remain clear, you should be able to see the comet through the end of October. We're live in Glassboro, New Jersey, Trish Hartman, Channel 6, Action News. Sarah, Brian. Yeah, very cool. I think we'll be out there this evening. With, Absolutely. With the kids, checking yep, it out. Very good. Trish, thank you.